guys welcome back to my channel so through the month of november i'll be covering uh, information about various fellowship programs in the country and today i'm going to start with the teach for india fellowship which is one of the oldest fellowship programs in india it started way back in 2009 and it has come a long way it's one of the very popular fellowship programs that students apply for and what i will be doing today is covering different aspects of it ranging from the what the program is about to how you can apply for it what the selection criteria is like what are the deadlines and also what what the stipend is and i will also give you a sneak peek into uh, what the application process looks like what are some of the essays that you need to focus on and general faqs towards the end so i hope you're ready and let's get going at teach for india fellows are placed as full time teachers for 2 years in government or low income private schools they teach various subjects ranging from english mathematics social sciences and sciences and this is uh, for class uh, from class 1 to class 10 students are placed in cities like ahmedabad bangalore chennai delhi hyderabad mumbai and pune to be eligible for this uh, fellowship program you must be a citizen of india or an overseas citizen of india you should also have a graduation uh, you should also be a graduate uh, by june july 2021 and you can only apply once uh, in the uh, academic cohort cycle uh, so it doesn't matter in what round you apply but you can only apply once and you can subsequently apply the next year in case you're not selected in the coming year the selection process is very interesting and very intense also uh, it's a three stage process in the first stage uh, you have the application form and an online test in the second stage you have a telephonic interview and in the third stage you have an assessment you have to visit an assessment center and go through a whole bunch of activities essentially it's a day long process and uh, i'll get into the details of uh, it in case you have questions or probably towards the end the application happens in four rounds currently their round 2 is going on which closes on november 8th and if you apply after that the next round closes on january 17th and the last the very last day to apply for this uh, fellowship is march 14th of 2021 it's very interesting to know that this is one of the few fellowship programs that pays a stipend to its students uh, while they are pursuing the program. Uh, you get a salary of oh, a little over 20,000 rupees per month. And you, in case you are relocating away from your home city, they also give you a, a house rental allowance ranging from 5,300 rupees right up to 10,000 rupees, depending on the city uh, that you are living in. And along with that, they also uh, give you allowances for uh, school supplies for, you know, a, a certain amount uh, per student as well as your internet and transport fee, etc. So that's a little bit about uh, the stipend. Uh, let's now move forward to the application process, which is very interesting and uh, a bit rigorous as well. Log on to the Teach for India website, go to the Apply Now section and this is the page that will open before you. Uh, fill in your email address, phone number, etc. You will also receive an OTP uh, through which your number will be verified and then you will be able to log in and start the application form. Once you have logged in, it asks you for your, a whole bunch of personal information and uh, gets into other details and stuff. This is very obvious, you can fill it by yourself. Next, it asks for your educational and professional information. Here, you need to put in your professional uh, status, what you are doing currently, what's the highest level of education you've got, when did you complete your undergrad, and a whole bunch of other areas in terms of responsibilities that you've held in uh, the education and professional world. There's also a small survey question they ask towards the end. This is uh, really for them to understand where their marketing channels are more effective and they'll use this probably to reach out to students like yourself. It's quite a standard question across various uh, fellowship programs now. If you heard it first from my YouTube channel, then why don't you go ahead and share that uh, there as well. Next is a section called the application prerequisites. Without completing this, you cannot move forward. It's mandatory. 
you need to just put a, tick these four check boxes which largely revolve around uh, the fact that you're aware it's a two year program it's a paid program you'll be working in government or private schools english is the medium of uh, uh, the medium of uh, communication over here and the fact that uh, all the information put you've put in is true to your true to uh, true to the best of your knowledge now you'll see the summary page of the application form here you've already filled the basic info and the educational and professional information uh, you need to focus more on uh, other details of uh, your, your interests and other experiences you've had and then the main part which is the essays i'll skip the rest as it's quite self explanatory let's move to the essays which require significant focus there are three essays in total here's the first essay this one largely revolves around your leadership position that you've held uh, they want to know about the ex leadership experiences in particular that you've had it could be formal or informal however they do prefer that you submit something from your graduation days rather than school days as school days are you know a few years behind you and they've also uh, made it easy for you by uh, pinpointing specific questions uh, the answers to which they are looking for in terms of what was your role uh, what were you trying to achieve and what were the outcomes and you need to uh, write minimum of 250 words for each of the essays i haven't seen an upper limit anywhere so really the sky is the limit here the second essay revolves around a challenge or a commitment that you've uh, had in the recent past the aim of this is to understand and uh, really see whether you are up for a significant commitment like the fellowship program here again they wanted to be a recent experience uh, highlight what the goal was how long did it take you to achieve that goal what were the challenges that you faced how did you overcome those challenges and what were the final out outcomes again the minimum limit is 250 words and you can go beyond that depending on uh, how how much you want to write coming to the third and the last essay question this is really the meat of the entire application form where they ask you the why why is it that you are applying for this particular fellowship uh, do you understand that you have to lead a group of 40 students for 2 years and uh, how do you plan to do that what do you mean by excellent education according to you and how however you define that education system how do you plan to achieve that for your students over the next 2 years and the and and the question really is very broad based it goes much beyond your engagement for the two years uh, they also want you to answer how your vision and mission uh, is going to be after two years of completing the program in the sense how are you going to contribute to the alumina community it's a very holistic comprehensive uh, question and the answer should be equally comprehensive to make a strong case for uh, your application process in the past i have been on the admissions panel of one of the prominent uh, fellowship programs in the country and i've had the opportunity to read uh, hundreds of applications and interview them both telephonically and in person and through that experience i have really learned uh, some of the tips and tricks that students have used to uh, bring out and make their stand uh, application stand out from the rest and those have really left a mark on me as uh, as uh, an interview uh, panel member and uh, uh, there are some significant do's and don'ts also uh, some poor practices that i have uh, learned uh, of through this ex exercise i really wish to share that with you and if you do need uh, the help i could also help you think through and structure some of the answers of uh, questions essay questions as well as other details in the application process that you may need support with so feel free to reach out my email address is given below or you can also comment uh, and uh, comment in the comment section and i'll reach out to you thank you so much all the best for your application process and may you get selected to the program that you dream of bye